Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, another lecture series in statics about space trusses. So if you are still new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be updated of my future videos which will be uploaded here. So I always want to be an instrument of your success in your studies, especially in civil engineering. So good luck. So first let's have an example of a space thrust. So for the space thrust shown, compute the reaction components and member forces. So that's the given figure. Let's first compute the component reactions by assuming the direction of the component reactions. So let us say these are the directed uh, reactions. So consider the whole system. We sum up moment about ACX first so that we can solve BY and we always apply right thumb rule. So because BY is upward, so it is positive BY times uh, 12, uh, 7.5 plus 4.5 is 12, plus 60 times 9, then no more because all the unknown forces here uh, act on AC's X and 100 kN is parallel to the X axis, so it has no moment. So equal 0, then we can solve BY, it is equal to negative 45 kN, so our assumed direction is wrong, so BY is downward, 45 kN. So having found BY, we then sum, sum up moment about AZ equals 0 to solve for CY. So by right thumb rule again, we have BY, which is negative 45, times 4.5, BY times 4.5, plus 100 times 9, then min minus CY times 12, then plus 100 times 9 equals 0. Solving for CY, CY is 58.125 kN, and since it is positive, since it is positive, our assumed direction is correct, that it is downward. So next, we sum up moment about AY to solve for CZ. Then by right thumb rule, CG is negative. So Z, negative CG times 12. Then 60 is also negative, which is negative 60 times 4.5. However, 100 is positive, 100 times 7.5. So plus 100 minus CG times 12, 100 times 7.5. I already mentioned that. Then equal 0. So CZ is equal to 40 kilonewtons. And since it is positive, our assumed direction is correct. Then we can sum up moment about CY equal 0 to solve for AZ, although we can sum up forces along Z so that we can solve for AZ. This is just to make sure that uh, we can check the component reaction. So by right thumb rule, CY, so AZ is negative, negative AZ times 12. Then 60 is positive, 60 times 7.5 minus AZ times 12, then plus 100. So 100 positive sense is like that if this is CY. So plus 100 times 7.5, then minus AZ times 12, then nothing more, so equals 0. So solving for AZ, AZ is 100 kilonewtons and since this positive, our assumed direction for AZ is correct. Then we have <coughs> uh, AZ and, uh, sorry, AX and AY. So we can now sum up moment about uh, BY this time equals 0 to solve for AX. So AX is positive, so positive sense is in that sense. So AX times 12, then uh, 60 is passing through BY. So this is, if we transfer 60 here, so obviously it passes through EY. Then 100 is negative, negative 100 times 4.5. 
and CZ is also negative. So negative 100 times 4.5 minus CZ, which is 40 times uh, 7.5. Uh, AZ is also negative. So AZ, moment of AZ about dy axis is negative because the positive sense is like that. Moment of AZ is the opposite direction. So 100 times 4.5, which is that. Then mm, no more. Uh, CZ is minus CZ, which is 40 times 7.5 so equal zero so solving for ax ax is 100 kilonewton and since it is positive our assumed direction for ax is correct then we have ay as the last unknown so we sum up moment about bz or cz it's up to you so summation moment about cz equal zero so ay since it is upward it's negative because the positive sense is like that like that so ay times negative negative ay times 12 then 100 is positive 100 times 9 is positive minus ay times 12 then minus by but by is negative 45 times 7.5 so minus ay times 12 minus negative 45 times 7.5 so that is by times 7.5 it is negative but the magnitude of by is already negative so that's why we copy negative then equals zero because 60 is not involved it is parallel to cg so ay is 103.125 kilonewtons upward so we can start at B, we isolate joint B, and we assign the direction of the forces. We always assume tension. So summation uh, forces along X first to relate FED and FBC, or you may sum up forces Y so that you can solve for FED directly. So let's have summation forces Y first. So FBD times Y component 9 divided by distance square root of uh, along x 0 square, along y 9 square, then along z 4.5 square. So negative 45 because by is supposedly positive but its, its magnitude is negative 45. Then plus fbd times 9 over square root of 9 square plus 4.5 squares. Along x is 0. So FBD is equal to 50.312 kilonewtons and it is a tension member. Then summation forces along X to relate FAB and FBC equal zero. So this is the positive direction. So we will write if FBC first. FBC times 7.5 divided by square root of 7.5 square plus zero square plus 12 square. So 7.5, 7.5 square along y nan because it is horizontal member, then plus 12 square along z. <coughs> then minus FAB times 4.5 divided by square root of 4.5 square plus 0 square plus 12 square. So 4.5 divided by square root of 4.5 square plus 0 square plus 12 square equals 0. So expressing FBC in in terms of FAB, it is 0.6625 of FAB. Then summation forces along Z equals zero. So in this direction, positive. So FAB times 12 over square root of 4.5 square plus 12 square plus FBC times 12 over square root of uh, 7.5 square plus 12 square also y is 0 long y is 0 then plus FBD which is FBD 50.312 times uh, z component of distance is 4.5 divided by distance square root of 9 square plus 4.5 square then equal 0 so Take note that uh, this is FBC, 
and it is 0.625 FAB. So solving for FAB, if AB is negative 15.019 kN or FAB is 15.019 kN compression. Then substitute into this equation here. FBC is, is 0.6625 times negative 15.019. FBC is also compression, so 9.95 kN compression. Then everything is found in this joint here, the members. So let's proceed to joint C. That's joint C, summation first, try to solve for FCD. So Y component of FCD is FCD times 9. Then divided by square root of 7.5 square plus 9 square plus 7.5 square. So FCD times 9 square root of 7.5 square plus 9 square plus 7.5 square. So it is along x 7.5, along z 7.5, along y like, uh, 9. Then minus CY and CY is 58.125. So these are the forces. So minus 58.125 equals 0. So solving for FCD, FCD is 89.838 kN and it is a tension member. Then summation forces along since FBC is found. So we can now have summation forces along X equals 0. Then going in that direction as positive. So FAC, then the X component of FCD. It is 89, so plus, it, plus FBC, negative 9.95 and FBC times its X component, uh, its X component is 7.5 divided by square root of 7.5 square along X, along Y 0 square, then along Z 12 square, that's it. Then plus FCD, which is uh, 89.95. 838 times 7.5 divided by square root of 7.5 square plus 9 square plus 7.5 square just like here and equals 0. So solving for FAC, FAC is equal to negative 43.160 kilonewtons. Then FAC is 43.16 kilonewtons compression. So only one member left which is F AD, so we proceed to joint A summation forces Y equals zero. Those are the forces involved supposedly, but we have summation forces Y, only two forces are involved AY and FAD. So AY is 103.125 plus FAD times 9 over square root of 4.5 square. So FAD times uh, 9 divided by square root of 4.5 square plus 9 square plus 7.5 square, the distance of AD. Then equals 0, solving for FAD. FAD is negative uh, 140.801, or FAD is 143.801 kilonewtons compression. So that's it. Everything is found. Uh, six reaction components and six uh, members. And this is statically determinate because the total reaction is 6. Then the total number of members is also 6, so 12. Then there are 4 joints. Then 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 equals 12. So that makes the structure statically determinate one and it is stable. Now, if you want to, because we run out of space, I want to present the solution in just one slide. Then you, I want you to check joint G, the equilibrium of joint G, to verify that all these answers are correct. So perform summation forces X, and it should be zero. Summation forces Y, it should be zero or almost zero. And summation forces along Z must be almost zero also. The second example. So for the space thrust shown, Below, determine all support reactions and member forces. Indicate if the member force is tension or compression. So support A is a short link. So there is one uh, reaction only. B has two short links and C is a ball and socket joint. So B has two component reactions. C 
has three component reactions. So this is the figure. Let's put the component reactions now. So we have dy and dx. So these are the assumed direction up and going in that direction. The negative direction along x. Then a is ay only. At C there are three. <coughs> so first, if we sum up moment about a, B, X, we can solve for C, Y by right time rule. So consider the whole system, summation moment about A, B, X or A, X or B, X axis equals zero and applying right time rule. So we have C, Y which is positive. So positive in that sense. So C, Y times 3. C, X passes through same plane. C, X uh, parallel. So not involved. So CY times 3, then minus 60 times 1.5 equals 0. 50 is parallel to the x-axis. So CY is 30 kilonewtons and it is upward. Next, we sum up moment about uh, maybe BZ. BZ axis to solve for AY. Then positive sense is like that. So AY is negative. So AY times 6. Then six, positive 60 times 3. Then negative 50 times 6. Uh, the height is 6. Then uh, BZ. So CX passes through. CX passes through. And CY is involved. Uh, minus CY times uh, 1.8 because this is 1.2. And the total distance is 3, so 1.8. So negative AY times 6 plus 60 times 3, 60 times 3, minus 50 times 6, then CY. <coughs> CY is involved about BZ. Uh, CZ is not involved. CX passes through, so CY. CY is negative, so minus CY, which is minus 30 times 1.8. 3 minus 1.2 is 1.8. Equal 0. Solving for AY, AY is negative 29. So that means AY must be downward. Uh, downward. Then finally, we have BY. So we sum, sum up moment about AZ equal 0. So PY is positive because that's positive sets. CY is also positive, then minus 60 times 3, minus 50 times 6. And the rest, parallel, passes through CX, same plane at, as A, then PX also has no moment. So BY times 6, plus 30 times 4.2, this is CY here, plus uh, 4.2, 1.2 plus 3, for positive sense. Then minus 50 times 6, then minus 60 times 3, then equals 0. The rest will have will not be involved. So BY is 59 kilonewtons upward. So we can also check the whole system if it is in equilibrium. So 60 plus 29 because AY is downward, then Minus BY, 59, minus CY, 30, equals 0. So, 89 downward, 89 upward. So, that balances. Then, uh, let's solve for uh, BX. Summation moment about CY equals 0. So, to solve for BX, so the positive sense of moment would be like that. But B x moment is opposite so bx is negative so negative bx times 3 positive 50 times 1.5 then that's it only two are involved negative bx times 3 then positive 50 times 1.5 equals 0 so bx is 25 kilonewtons and it is positive so correct direction so actually, you can solve for CX if you sum up forces along X. And obviously, if you sum up forces along Z, CZ is 0. So let's do that. Summation forces X 0. 
So, 50 minus Bx which is 25 minus Cx equals 0. So, Cx is equal to 25 kilonewtons. And it is correct direction. Then, Cg is 0. Summation mo forces along Z equals 0. So, Cg plus nothing equals 0. So, Cg is 0. Then, we begin by isolating joint A. Summation forces Y equals 0. So, we can solve FED. <coughs> so, FED is forward 3 backward 1.5 upward 6 so the x component 3 z component 1.5 y component 6 so it is ay which is negative 29 so let's put the forces first so fac is horizontal so it is directed from a to c so that's horizontal only fad is if AD has vertical component, FAB is also horizontal. So negative 29, then plus FAD times 6 over square root of 3 square plus 6 square plus 1.5 square. So 6 over square root of 3 square plus 6 square plus 1.5 square. Then no more equals 0. So FAD is 33.224 kilonewtons tension. Then, if we sum up forces along Z, we can solve for FAC. So, going in the, in the negative direction as positive. So, let's write FAC first. The Z component of FAC is FAC times 3 divided by square root of, of 3 square plus... 0 square plus 3 square. Uh, sorry, FAC is square root of 3 plus 1.2. So, square root of 4.2 square plus 3 square. Y is 0. So, FAC times 3 over square root of 4.2 square plus 0 square plus 3 square. That's the Y component of F. That's the Z component of FAZ in that direction. Then, plus FAD, which is 33.224. 33.224 times 1.5 divided by square root of 3 square plus 6 square plus 1.5 square and equals 0. Solving for FAC, FAC is negative 12.473 kilonewtons. So FAC is compression member. Then summation forces along X, we can solve for FAB positive in the positive X direction. So FAB plus FAC, which is negative 12.473 times 4.2 over square root of, of 4.2 square plus 0 square plus 3 square then plus FAD which is 33.224 times uh, x component is 3 so 33.224 times 3 over square root of 3 square plus 6 square plus 1.5 square equals 0 so solving for FAB, FAB is negative 4.35, so it is also a compression member, 4.35 kilonewtons. So now we have found all forces there. We proceed to join C, uh, join C, summation forces Y equals 0, although you can also proceed to join B if you want. So summation forces Y equals 0, only CY and FCD will be involved. Now, uh, the components of FCD, components of distance would be 1.2x, 6y, and 1.5z. So, these are the forces indicated. So, FCD times y component is 6 over square root of 1.2 square plus 6 square plus 1.5 square. Those are the components of distance of CD. Then, plus CY, which is equal to 30, equals 0. So, FCD is negative 31.5 kilonewtons. So, FCD is 31.5 kilonewtons compression. Then, summation of, because FAC is found, summation forces uh, along X equals 0. So, going in the positive direction as positive. So, let's write FBC first. FBC, then X component of distance of FBC is, remember, 1.8. Y is 0, then Z is 3. So, FBC times 1.8 over square root of 1.8 square, Y is 0 square, plus Z 3 square. Then, minus uh, 
FCD, which is negative minus FEC, which is negative of 12.473. The x component of distance is 4.2 divided by distance, so let's copy square root of 4.2 square plus 0 square plus 3 square. Then plus FCD, FCD is negative 31 point, so minus negative 31.5 times x component of distance 1.2 divided by distance, so we copy uh, this distance here. Then minus CX, where Cx is 25 equals 0. So solving for FBC, FBC is 17.202 kN tension. Then finally, we proceed to join B, summation for SY equals 0. We have BD as our last member. So BY is, BY is 59. Then plus FBD, the Y component is 6. The distance would be 3 along X. 6 along y and along z 1.5 so 59 plus fbd times 6 over square root of 3 square plus 6 square along y plus 1.5 along z so 3 uh, 1 3 1.5 along z then 6 along y equals 0 so fbd is negative so let's answer that directly because we run out of space so fbd is 6 57.593 kN compression because that's negative. So that's it. That's the solution to this space thrust. And uh, supposedly, we have to check joint D. So I already checked that in my other papers. So I found out that the summation forces X is 0, summation forces Y is 0. And summation forces along z is zero, but I leave that to you as your exercise or practice. So I hope that these two examples will help you understand further about space stresses. And and as I said, I hope that I will be your instrument in your success or part of your success. So thank you and thank you for watching and good luck in your studies.